Hey fellow adventurers, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play Divinity series. In the last episode, we tried finding some clues to break out of our source collars, but instead we ended up with some broken bones as we tried competing in arena underlabeled and some mistakes were made. But today is a new day, so let's see where our adventure takes us today. Alright, let's talk to Campos Griff as he's one of the main objectives and he might give us some direction as to what we need to do next. Griff is slowly, methodically peeling the skin from a potato. As you approach, he looks up, setting the potato, but not the sharp little knife down on the table. What? Ask if he's in charge here. Uh, glance at the knife and apologize for disturbing him. Take a leave. Uh, let's go with the first option. <clears throat> Who's asking? Say you're just a fellow inmate and have some questions. Casually cross your arms and say you've heard he might, he might be able to help you. Uh, let's go the first. He smirks and holds the little knife up to the light, watching it glint. I'm listening. Say you're interested in trade. Ask if he knows his thugs are terrorizing the camp citizens. Say you're looking for a way out of this place. Say you've heard he's a good friend to have and ask if there's anything you can help him with. Ask what he knows about the Magisters and their cure for sorcerers. Take a leave. Let's go with the fourth option. He points the tip of his blade at the grisly sight of the elf hunched over, clutching his knees in the cage. Oh my god. I solve my own problems. Say you are interested in trade, ask if he knows his thugs are terrorizing the camp citizens. I'm sure if we trigger the second option, he is gonna know it was us who killed his thugs and he's probably gonna fight us. Considering we already lost at the arena today, I didn't think we should look, go look for a fight um, among so many people here. So you're looking for a way out of this place. Ask what he knows about the Magisters and their cure for sorcerers. Let's go. Is he... He's a camp boss. Why would he want to get out of her? I think that would trigger a fight too. Let's go with uh, first option. Sure. Have a look. Good stuff, huh? Oh, this is trash. I don't even want any of it, dude. Um, so he has an elf here. Can we talk to them? Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Okay. Listen, I can help you if you just... Shut up, elf. Say this elf seems badly injured and asks why he's being held here. This clown caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. Ask how he's sure he's the culprit. Ask what he means to have stolen. Um, let's see what he's stolen actually. Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <clears throat> he'll talk or he'll die quiet. Make a proposition. You'll find back the stolen supplies in Griffo Free Amero. Wonder if he'd really kill a man over a few pieces of fruit. Tell Griff he has no right to keep a man locked up here in such bad conditions. Oh, take your leave. Should we help us help this guy? Can he actually do anything for us? Let's let's go with the first option. All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. Okay, wonder if he'd really kill a man over pieces of fruit. I'm sure he will. Let's go. Let's go look for supplies. Kinda wanna get out of What? Um, let's talk to this trader. The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts, and doesn't look up as you approach. Tap him on the shoulder, cuff and ask if the crown is really as interesting as all that. Seized by a destructive spirit, you stomp on his foot. Leave him be. Let's just cuff, I don't really want to touch him, he might just attack us like Sibel did. Hmm? The ground? I don't know what you... I'm just trying to work it out. What happened? Why? Ask if he has any goods for sale. Ask the lizard what's on his mind. My mind? What else, my friend? I'm wondering why. All of this. 
source, the Void Woken, the Divine. Why? Ask him what he means. Say why is a mystery. All that matters is what to do now. Say you've often asked yourself the same questions. Naturally. How could one not? We've used Source for thousands of years. We have used it to heal, to grow. How can it be that it suddenly summons these, these horrors from the Void? And when will Alexander ascend to divinity? We cannot continue like this. He seems like an interesting fellow. Okay, looks like these two boys are having some sort of spicy argument over here. So let's see what's all that about. Excuse us. You're talking to me, not him, Sam. Oh, for the love of Lucian, Balladeer. You're acting like a madman. Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. Excuse yourself, sensing the situation is about to escalate. Ask if you might be able to help settle their argument. Smirk, this looks like it's about to get interesting. Piss off. Okay. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. If she were my wife, I'd be happy for her. A flat smile twitches across Balladeer's lips. She never did like you. Holy <laughs> shit, he just killed a guy in cold blood. Uh, let me check his pulse. Okay, this is like standard procedure here. We are making sure he's all well and done. We are not being a loot goblin at all. Um, I mean, come on, the who man do looks that? for a moment at the corpse at his feet, then turns back toward the nearly finished coffin, bloodied hammer in hand. Stand before him in shock, mutter that he just killed a man in cold blood. Ask if that coffin he's building is for the man he just murdered. Tell him you'd have done the same. Let's go with the first don't option. Feel too bad. Fella had no decency. If you don't have that, you don't have anything to live for. Tell him not to fool himself. What he did was inexcusable. Admit he has a point. Tell him he's starting to sound like a magister. Say he sounds like a man after your own heart. Let's go with the first option. He nods at you and turns back to his handiwork. He lines up another nail and hammers it into the panel. Oh god, we should probably kill this guy at some point. Bastard. Oh, the world is full of crazy people here, boys. Oh. Let's talk to the star. I don't know any elvish ditties. Not nothing spicy enough to keep my mind off this place for a few bars. Say you're in no mood for songs. Elf, you try to remember an elvish song called Elder Flower, but the exact tune and lyrics escape you. Let's give the second option. <laughs> don't break your head then. Been that long since you've been home, is it? Yeah, pity. You, you there. You, you've just arrived, isn't that right? Are you, are you quite alone? Ask why he wants to know. Say you are, say you're with a grip, but you can't ditch them. Lhasa, consider your companions nice folk, but they're probably better off without you. Ask why he wants to know. It's just, I have a proposition. Something, something very worth knowing. But it's hardly a group affair. I only need one. Tell him to go on your hair alone. Tell him you're not interested in any matter. Your friends can't hear. Say you're with a group, but you can't ditch them. Let's go with the first option. In that case, listen up. You must think me mad to approach a stranger, but this camp is full of cowards and I'm running out of time. Fast. Too fast. Way too fast. Ask him what he's planning, point out that he seems a bit nervous. Tell him to take his preposition elsewhere. I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it. And I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy and I need a partner. Just one. Okay. Are you interested? Tell him you want him. Tell him all this feels a little convenient. How do you not? He's not working for the Magister. Decline, you have companions to think about. Tell him to take his proposition elsewhere. Let's go with the second option. Believe whatever you want. This may be your only chance at leaving this place. Take it or don't. What if he's actually trying to lure us into giving Lhasa the cure? Tell him we want him. Okay, let's Had a gal. Who wouldn't? Finally, someone with a little sense. The plan's simple. 
completely foolproof. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. Okay. There's an artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. This item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. Ask him where you can find it, Scoff, so he wants you to do his legwork for him. No doubt his spine can help a lot more people than me to escape. If what he's saying is true. And how many would make it before the guards noticed? Hmm? Four? Five? Every bloody sorcerer in this place? Nah, they'd have to take their own chances. I'll need one accomplice, no more. Okay, ask where exactly you can find this artifact then. If you were to be his accomplice, find out that someone would think he just wants you to do his work for him. Let's go with the first option, I just want details on the artifact and we can just probably use it for ourselves in our party. It's found its way into a nest of crocodilians on a secluded beach nearby. Here, give me your map and I'll show you where to go. Okay, tell him you hold up crocodilians, how many? Say you'll take care of it right away. Smile, a good fight is just what you need to make yourself at home. Not enough to trouble a fine specimen such as yourself. Oh. Get that artifact. And you and I are as good as free. Go give those overgrown lizards what for. <laughs> Lockpicks, I like that. Time to accept reality. Lockpicks, you find a lockpick, you open a lockpick, lock use your lockpick. Fresh pick. face. We love fresh faces, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Why okay. don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. Okay, I'll accept the invitation. Chuff to you, Chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. Hmm. Play your hand. Quite the hand, Freshy. Unfortunately, two is less than five, and that's how many purples I've got. I reckon that makes me the winner. I'll be having your fee then. What? Wasn't supposed to be free? Furry your bro and say that's impossible, he's clearly cheating. Raise an eyebrow. Is that how this works? Give him what he asked for. Blaming a bloke you just met for your misfortune, are ya? Ease off, or I'll go ahead and double what you owe. Tell him you're going to walk away and he's not going to stop you. Say no one mentioned having to pay to stay here. Noble mentioned he'd gain more from having you and your connections as allies. Suggest there must be a compromise to that satisfy you both. Spit and say they'll have to loot their interment fee from your carbs. Well, let's go with the second option. Well, you've heard of it now, ain't ya? Go on, then, Freshy. Turn him out. Give the brute what he asks for. Say you won't hand over what's rightfully yours. Swear you have nothing of value on your person. Go on, then. Whatever pennies you've got in your pocket ain't worth my breath. But don't you go telling Griff I was soft on you. Okay. Thank him and take your leave. Oh my. Wow, what a fucking loser trying to fucking coerce us into paying him. Let's talk to Buddy over here. The old dog looks up at you but doesn't lift his graying head from his paws. He heaves a heavy sigh. Ask the dog his name. Ask the pooch what's the matter. Bend down and stroke his head. Oh, let's ask his name. I'm I'm Buddy. Oh, he's cute. It's... it's no use anyway. Tell him to try you. Tell him you hope he feels better. Say he looks a little thin. Give the dog some meat. The dog tentatively sniffs the offering, then grabs it between its teeth and swallows it. You're... you're nice. Emmy would have... Emmy would have loved you. Ask whether this Emmy is the reason he seems so blue. Say so you don't doubt that, everyone loves you. Let's go with the first option. She was my mate for the last seven, carry the two, plus fifty. Five years! The Magisters, they took her. Oh, the dog, he's really bad at math. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna tell him that. Scratch behind the pooch's ear. He's not alone for now, at least. Ask if he's seen his mate since she was taken. Let's do the second one. I love you. Say, let me show you something. Oh.
Oh. What was that key? Let's start him again. Oh, hey. Hey. I thought you might be Emmy. It's It's nice to see you. Give his belly a little rub. Ask where you can use the key he showed you. Key? What key? Oh, the key! The Magister who took Emmy dropped it when he was walking away. Did someone say Emmy? Oh, Emmy! If you find out where it leads, if you see Emmy, tell her I miss her. Okay, ask where he said last saw Emmy. Not too far from here. But she was taken by a guy in a white robe who smelled horrible, like lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of dogs, and also a little like, like dead people. He dragged her into the big castle just there. I'm so worried about her. Which big castle? Let's give him a belly rub. I think I love you. <laughs> That's dogs for you. We'll have to find Hemi at some point. Oh, nice. We got some crafting stuff. Let's talk to Dr. Lust. Oh, frightfully busy at the moment, love. Haven't got any liquor on hand, have you? This fella could use a little comfort. Pull this flask from your bag and offer it to her. Smile apologetically and say you're fresh out. Tell her she's a sad excuse for a healer fell calls the only remedy in her repertoire. Ask if she has anything available to trade. Let's just give her some alcohol. Let's just boost some relations here, because we're in a prison right now. We just want to, like, get some more information in, trying to collect all the facts we can and just get the fuck out of this place. Wait, well, look at that. Just what I ordered. Ain't you a peach, love? An old dear here would thank you too if he could. Poor fella over there crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Don't to be sure, but I'd like to ease his way out. Oh? Dude, this Griff dude is not chill. Oh, ow, ma the man sleeps so deeply, he might as well be <laughs> dead to the world. Let's go into the cavern and see what is here. Oh, a little reprieve from the din outside. State your business. Ask if you may walk freely here. Tell him you will walk freely here. Express your surprise at finding fully on the lizard soldier inside Fort Joy. Um, let's just ask if we can walk freely here. Certainly. You may not be a lizard, but your kind are hardly so bad as the humans. Oh. If it's trade you're looking for, I've made a habit of procuring items that can prove rather useful inside these walls. Uh, let's just excuse ourselves. Um, ruler, let's talk to No him. one tells me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Magisters I handle, but small ones. We do not have many in my tribe anymore. And in yours? I'll say it's the same among your people. Children are few and far between. I'll say you haven't been home in a long time. You wouldn't know. Let's go with the first option. I never know how lucky we are. Oh, she's here. Do you remember what it is like at home? Let's talk to Sahela. As you approach the young elf, Losa suddenly grabs your arm. Her hand is damp. Her face looks pale and grey. Companion origin moments. There are some characters your companion will want to speak with privately. Forbidding this may negatively affect your relationship. However, allowing it may make you complicit in any consequences. Okay. Hey, listen. I, I don't know why, but, but I think I need to talk to this elf. Okay. You mind? Note the sweat beating her upper lip and ask her what's going on. Put your hand over hers. She's shaking. Ask her if she's alright. Tell her she didn't ask you. The floor is hers. Tell her to stay back. You're in the middle of something. Let's just allow her to do this. She darts over to the elf without responding. They begin talking in earnest, more quietly than you can overhear. Losa suddenly snatches up both the elf's hands and leans close to her. Her voice rises. You have to tell me. The whites of Losa's eyes fade to grey, then black. The colour runs into her veins, crisscrossing her skin like lightning. She keeps hold of Sahela's hands. It rises in you even now, Losa. 
Do not let it. You must be strong. Be strong. Fight. Fight. You are okay. You are yours. No one else's. Approach and touch Losa's arm. Tell her it's time to get out of here. Watch and listen. Interject and ask the elf what is happening. Let's just watch and listen. Shut up. Let go. Let go. Let go. I don't want to hurt her. Don't make me. Losa is rigid as a board, tense with the effort of holding Sahela's hands in tight, painful bunches. Leave me alone. Leave me. I don't want to. You are hurting me. Losa's eyes are black. Sahila's fingers are white under her grasp. Oh. Let me go. Please. Oh my god. A sinister smile spreads across Losa's lips. She jerks the elf toward her. Okay. Chatty, chatty elf. Chatty elf with all the answers. I wonder what your blood tastes like. Oh shit. Losa, please. You, you must not defend her. She wakes if she is weakened. We must hurt her to protect her, you see? Rush forward to help the elf. Losa isn't in her right mind. Stand by Losa, you didn't start this mess, but you'll help her finish it. Let's beat the shit out of Losa and exorcise the demon from her. I bet the elf blood tastes like honey, like nectar, like joy itself. Let's find out. You must oh. weaken her to help her. Oh, we are all fighting Losa. Okay, perfect. Nice. Shield bounce. Time to fuck you up, bitch. Let's spin down closer. Glorious. A few more hits. She comes back to us when she is weaker. Okay. Let's encourage the allies. Glory is mine. Okay, it's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk to her. What? Don't look at me like that. Say you're not looking at her like anything. If she doesn't want to talk about what just happened, that's fine by you. Tell her she must, she almost killed an innocent girl. You look at her however you please. Hang an arm around her shoulder and tell her to lighten up. You were happy to meet her other half. I was not happy about that. Let's go to the first option. Good. I don't. Let's keep moving. I want to get out of this bloody place as soon as possible. Say you do too. Let's go ask if she's uh, going to be okay. I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. I just want to get out. Holy of shit, man! Let's this bitch go. is crazy. Wait, Jesus, let's let talk to her at least. The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. That's true. Ah, hello. I see you come a long way. I see you come here seeking a great adventure. Do you find it? Tell her that's none of her business. Ask how she knows about that. Say it's been quite the journey so far. Say you had hope for more. Ignore her remark. Let's go with the third option. She laughs and looks around as though taking in the scenery, though her eyes are still covered. <laughs> many people to meet, many stones to turn. And there is a great joy here. As though the walls and water themselves were made by many smiling gods. I guess it's called Fort Joy for a reason. It's a really joyful place. Even if we are here under unhappy circumstances, still I feel it. Uh, ask her how she knows about that. Say you had hope for more. Perhaps you keep going. Perhaps you make friends with what you see. There is a great passion in every grain of sand. Maybe you find your adventure after all. No, no, that's none of her business. Ask how she knows about that. I see it before my eyes. <laughs> she doesn't have any eyes. No, no, you're not here to talk about your private life. Say you have heard far seeing is as much a burden as a gift. Say you don't believe in far seeing. Let's go with the second option. 
It is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. Tell her you're not here to talk about your private life. Say you don't believe in farcing. Change the subject. Tell her you've found the elf Emiro and have struck a deal to have him freed. So you're looking for a way out for choice. Say you'd like to ask a few questions. Let's go with the second option. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. Uh, ask about the Samuro. Say you met such a man. He's being held by the Camp Cup Griff. Say you haven't come across any such man. Ask why she's still here if her friend knows a way out. Let's go with the second option. She nods quietly. As though she knew this all along. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. Tell her you found the elf Emiro and have struck a deal to have him freed. Promise you'll help her friend. Say you'll consider her a ghost. Um. You bring me great peace. Thank you, my friend. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Okay, so we need to find the lizard. Probably the dreamer, uh, the red prince is looking for, to help free the Amiro. Okay. Say so you'd still like to ask a few questions. Tell her you've struck a deal. Let's go with the first option. Ah, you help him. Your open heart surprises even me. Say so you're happy to help. Tell her you're looking for a way out and your heart has nothing to do with it. Let's go with the first option. You bless me. You bless us all. Yes, bless you. Alright. Um so we need to find this lizard and free Amaro. That's what we're gonna do next. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can press the like button below. And if you're new to this channel, you can also subscribe to it for more similar content and the upcoming episodes. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care, stay safe. And I hope you all have a great day.